In this video, we'll discuss about home remedies for easing joint pain. Oftentimes, doctors prescribe painkillers and anti-inflammatory drugs for joint pain. But if you're someone concerned about the side effects of medication, you may just wish to use some true and tried home remedies instead. Where the pain isn't too bad or too frequent, you may be able to get relief from these simple home remedies. These remedies are effective for treating joint pains in knees, neck, hips, ankles, and lower back. Epsom salts. Epsom salts have been used traditionally for treating joint and muscle pains. These salts are rich in sulfates and magnesium, like many supplements used for treating joint pain. They can be administered topically as they are absorbed by the skin. These salts aid in relaxing the tensed regions of the body while keeping muscle spasms at minimum. You can simply add two cups of Epsom salts to your bath water and stay in it for about half an hour. Or you can make a compress of these salts and apply to the skin topically. For doing this, add two cups of Epsom salts in one gallon of water to form a dilute mixture. Then dip a towel or face cloth in the solution and apply to the affected area. Adding essential oils to the mixture can increase the benefits of this remedy. Essential oils. Essential oils are also a great home remedy for joint pain. Lavender essential oil is extremely helpful in treating those conditions in which the pain is already present and is worsening. If you take an Epsom salt bath, simply add a few drops of lavender oil to the water. If the affected area is swollen and feels warm, this could be a case of bursitis. Apply peppermint oil to the area. The cooling menthol effect of this oil will reduce the swelling and inflammation. Eucalyptus essential oil also reduces inflammation associated with arthritis and osteoarthritis. Along with that, it can also help prevent edema or fluid retention. Turmeric oils are not commonly available in many areas, but they are helpful in reducing joint pain that occurs due to osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and bursitis. You can add more turmeric to your daily meals to get maximum benefits. Soaking the sun. You'd be surprised at how helpful a good sunbath can be in getting rid of the pain. Many people with joint tissues have such complaints because of lower levels of vitamin D. Your body naturally produces vitamin D when you go out in the sun. Expose your body to the sun for 20 minutes, three or four times a week. Even this much exposure is enough for your body to make enough vitamin D. So when it's a nice day outside, take a walk by yourself or with a friend and do your joints a huge favor. Hot and cold packs. Hot and cold packs are probably the most accessible home remedy for joint pain. Both hot and cold treatments can help relieve pain and stiffness. There are two types of hot treatments, dry and moist. Taking long, warm showers will often relieve any stiffness in the joints. Take a warm shower in the morning to feel more energetic during the day. You can also keep a heating pad on affected areas to loosen up your joints while you sleep. When heat reaches the damaged areas, it provides relief and soothes muscles along with joints. Cold treatments are great for reducing inflammation and ridding the body of pain. The easiest way to make an ice pack is to take a bag of frozen vegetables and wrap a towel around it. Apply the ice pack to the affected area for quick relief. These two methods are lifesavers when the pain gets worse and there seems to be no way to treat it. Chamomile tea poultice. Chamomile tea can also reduce the pain associated with arthritis. It helps cool the body down and reduce inflammation. There are different inflammatory markers in the body that heat up the system and disturb the internal balance. This tea soothes everything and calms the immune system. To make a poultice, take four chamomile tea bags and add them in a cup of boiling water. Steep and keep the cup covered for about 20 minutes. Then remove the tea bags from the cup and soak a clean face cloth in it. When soaked with the liquid, apply to the affected area and you'll feel instant relief. Swimming. Odd as it may sound, swimming can actually help reduce pain that comes with arthritis. It is also a good exercise for losing weight if you suffer from joint pain. High intensity exercise is almost impossible for someone who has painful joints. Instead, exercising in water is easier as it bears less weight. Not only does swimming reduce pain, it also increases flexibility in the hip region. In addition, it strengthens the hip muscles for increased mobility. In some areas, there are special swimming classes for people who suffer from arthritis. So look around or go for a swim occasionally if you have a pool at home. Soothing music. 
If you love listening to music, you can actually use your hobby to get rid of the pain. It was seen in a study that people who listened to soothing music had reduced arthritis pain as compared to people who were not given a music prescription. It was also seen that music reduces the depression that comes with joint pain. You don't have to necessarily listen to a particular genre or kind of music. The important thing is that you must like the music. If you like the music, your body activates several hormones that cause pain relief, acting as body's own natural painkillers. Listening to your favorite music for a bit every day can help you take down the pain by several notches. Acupuncture. Acupuncture is a Chinese treatment that is thought to be effective in treating joint pain. In this method, thin needles are inserted at specific points in the body. These are particular pressure points, and inserting needles in these points reroutes the energies in the body. At the same time, the normal balance of the body is restored. According to this treatment method, there are meridians or pathways in the body through which energy flows. A total of 350 acupuncture points are present in the body for streamlining the flow of energy. Although there is no clear scientific explanation for this method, it is thought that acupuncture induces the body's natural painkillers to set into motion. The World Health Organization recognizes this technique and it's considered to be useful for treating more than 100 conditions. Look for a licensed acupuncturist in your region or state. You can also learn the technique so that you can do it at home at any time. All these remedies are sure to help you when you do not have medications at hand. Walking. While this isn't exactly a remedy, it's a good way of keeping pain at bay. Walking barefoot reduces the pressure on the joints by 12% as compared to the stress your joints feel when you walk in shoes. When you buy shoes, make sure that they mimic the natural arch of your foot. Lifting up your heel can cause stress on your joints, so avoid wearing heels daily as this can cause damage to your joints. Wearing heels for extended period of time also increases the risk of joint damage. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.